The anime begins by showing several high school students playing volleyball in the school gym. A young man named Nozomu Nanashima, who was chasing volleyball and running at high speed, accidentally bumped into a fat girl named Kai Serinuma, who was standing on the sidelines. Because of the incident, Kai was immediately taken to the school health room because she had collapsed unconscious. Kai's best friend, a girl named Amane Nakano, accompanies Kai until the girl wakes up from her stupor. Kai is in her second year of high school and part of the history club. Kai is a Fujoshi, a female otaku who becomes excited over the sight of two men together. At night, Kai always watches her favorite anime, namely Mirage Saga, and is very infatuated with the male character named Shion in the anime. In the episode of Mirage Saga that she watched that night, Shion's character was killed, and this made Kai very shocked and locked herself in her room for a whole week. Feeling anxious, her older brother, Takuro, then went to her room and intended to drag Kai out of the room. However, Takuro was surprised when he found out that his younger sister had turned into a very beautiful woman because of her drastic weight loss. Not only Takuro, Kai also seemed so shocked by the big changes she experienced after a whole week of not eating and drinking because she was so hurt by the death of her favorite anime character. When she entered school, Kai's schoolmates also seemed surprised and couldn't believe that the beautiful girl with the ideal body was Kai Serinuma. Because of this change, Kai immediately caught the attention of four handsome boys at school who immediately asked Kai out on a date at the same time. The four youths were Kai's classmates, Yusuke Garashi and Nozomu Nanashima, a first-year student and member of the health committee, Hayato Shinomiya, and Asuma Mutsumi, a third-year student and president of the history club. Because the four of them asked Kai on a date at the same time, Kai ended up dating the four young men by going to the cinema. After returning from the cinema, Kai and the four boys passed a shop selling Shion merchandise from the Mirage Saga anime. Because Kai doesn't want Nanashima and the others to know her as an otaku, the girl tries not to be tempted even though the shop sells limited edition of Shion's merchandise. But it turned out to be quite difficult, so Kai finally gave up and kept buying Shion's merchandise. Unexpectedly, the four boys seemed to understand Kai's strange inclination towards anime and didn't mind it at all. The scene then switches and shows Kai in the locker room where she is approached by two girls from the women's soccer club who ask for her help to play soccer because one of the club members is injured. Even though she can't play soccer, Kai still wants to help them. Seeing Kai's persistence and seriousness in playing soccer, Nanashima then helped her because Nanashima used to be a soccer player. Unexpectedly, Kai turned out to be able to play soccer very well after training with Nanashima. And in the end, they won the match. Ahead of summer vacation, Kai seems to be in danger of not being able to enjoy summer vacation because if she gets bad grades again, then Kai has to take additional classes during summer vacation. Asuma and the others who knew about it then helped Kai in studying, until finally, she got a satisfactory grade and was able to enjoy summer vacation like the other students. Shortly afterward, Kai's school will hold a cultural festival, and each class is asked to present something different to enliven the festival. Kai's class intends to feature Maid Cafe as the theme of their class this year. Hearing this, Shinomiya looks embarrassed because it turns out that the class intends to hold a drama show, where Shinomiya will act as a princess. When they came home from school, the four young men got into an argument, fighting over Kai, before finally reaching an agreement that they would date Kai one by one according to a predetermined schedule. On the day of the festival, Kai ends up dating the four of them one by one. But because Kai always expected that the four boys would like each other and date each other, Kai felt uncomfortable with the four boys' aggressive behavior so the girl burst into tears. Because Kai was crying after going on separate dates, Nanoshima and the others agreed not to let Kai be alone with either of them. One day, Kai takes the four boys to an anime exhibition, where they find out that Kai is a Fujoshi. In the middle of the exhibition, Kai was interrupted by some perverted photographers who were attracted to her. Before finally, an androgynous girl named Shima Nishina came to her rescue. Nishina turns out to be in the same school as Kai and is a first-year student who is the descendant of a rich family and is skilled in both sports and arts. Nishina is also a Fujoshi. This can be seen when Nishina invites Kai and the four handsome boys to come to her house, and they see various action figures from several anime with the theme of boys' love. However, what impressed Kai the most is the number of Shion merchandise owned by Nishina, who also really idolized Shion. One day, Kai wants to take part in a competition to make Shion-shaped chocolate, but it turns out that Kai has no talent at all, so the results are very messy. When she finally returned to school, Kai turned back into fat because the girl unknowingly ate all the remaining chocolate. Because Kai has become fat, Nanashima and the others try to train and encourage Kai to work out diligently so that her weight returns to its ideal. 
with a strong determination to be ideal and with a fairly strenuous physical exercise that she underwent in earnest, Kai was finally able to lose her weight and look even more beautiful because she was diligent in exercising. One day, Kai and Nishina got into a dispute because they didn't agree on their favorite anime. They bicker for days, before finally making up with the help of Nanashima and the others who try to get them back together. Kai, Nishina, and the four handsome young men then plan to travel to an island to visit the grave of one of the anime characters that is sacred by otaku. Arriving on the island, Kai and the others then stayed at a simple hotel. After visiting the tomb, Asume informed that the tomb was actually a tomb of a body without a head, and according to local residents, the head of the body had to be buried separately because it was cursed. That night, Kai and the others hallucinate that they are fighting against evil spirits. It turns out that the hallucination was caused by the head chef at the hotel who accidentally served them all with poisonous mushrooms as a dish. A few days later, Nanashima is seen dancing Puri Puri Moon with his younger sister to please the little girl. Nanashima and the others then intend to ask Kai out on a date, but the invitation is rejected by Kai who turns out to be running out of money after traveling with them to a remote island. To earn money so that Kai can buy the latest anime merchandise, she decides to work part-time at an amusement park. Not just standing still, Nishina and the others also help Kai by working part-time there. Higara she is in charge of leading the thrilling cruise. Nishina is working as a cafe waiter. Shinomiya will be playing a princess in a show at an amusement park. Asume is in charge of wearing mascot costumes and selling balloons to visitors. While Nanashima and Kai will be members of the Moon Castle which will appear to entertain the visitors. Nanashima was chosen because the young man memorized the choreography of the Puri Puri Moon Dance because he always dances with his younger sister at home. Nanashima and Kai ended up training together and became closer to each other. One day, while they were practicing together, Nanashima suddenly fainted from exhaustion. Nanashima dreams that he did something indecent to Kai, but it turns out that Nanashima is not dreaming but actually doing it. Kai feels very hurt and refuses to meet Nanashima. Realizing that he had done something that hurt Kai, Nanashima tried to explain what really happened and deeply regretted his actions. Since Nanashima seemed serious about his explanation, Kai finally forgave him, and they became friendly again as usual. Nishina then invited Kai and the others to vacation in a luxury villa owned by her family, which is located on the seafront with a very impressive view. While in the bathroom, Shinomiya looked in the mirror and looked insecure with his physique that was much thinner and petite than Igarashi and the others. Before going to the beach, Kai and the others decide to have lunch at a nearby diner, where they run into a group of delinquent men who are attracted to Kai and Nishina and intend to seduce them. Seeing this, Asuma, Igarashi, and Nanashima, who were tall and burly, then defended the two girls and threatened the delinquents, while Shinomiya only took cover behind the three of them because of afraid. Towards evening, Nishina invites her friends to have a barbecue party. Seeing a snake approaching Kai, Shinomiya rushed to save her but he instead fell down and dropped the meat that was cooked and ready to be eaten. Feeling guilty and insecure because he felt he couldn't do anything and could only cause trouble for others, Shinomiya then decided to leave. Kai immediately chased after Shinomiya. Because it was night and heavy rain, Kai and Shinomiya immediately looked for shelter and found an abandoned hospital building. However, the two met the delinquents who had disturbed them while at the diner. Seeing Kai who was only accompanied by a thin young man who looked weak, they dared to approach Kai. Shinomiya did not remain silent and tried to fight the delinquents. Not long after, Higarashi and the others arrived there and immediately beat up the delinquents. One day, Asume invites Kai and the others to look for treasure on an island after he accidentally finds a treasure map in the room used by the History Club. But in the middle of the journey, while exploring the cave, Kai and Asuma were left behind because they were blocked by bats. Kai later found out that Asuma had a trauma when he was in a dark place, caused by his older brother who had locked him in a pitch black room when he was little. After they followed the map and reached their destination, they found no treasure at all and instead found a note left by Asuma's older brother who only wanted to prank Asuma and the members of the school's history club. The next day, Kai and the others are surprised by the arrival of Asuma's older brother, Kazuma, who comes to school as an apprentice teacher. Because Kazuma is as handsome as Asuma, he immediately becomes an idol among the girls. When he comes home from school, Kazuma approaches Kai who is cleaning the history club room, and tries to seduce her with the lure of the very rare Shion action figure from the Mirage Saga anime. But then, Asuma comes and immediately tells his brother that Kai is his lover. Hearing this, suddenly Nanashima and the others became annoyed and scolded Asuma. Kazuma finally finds out that Kai is not Asuma's girlfriend even though Asuma said that because he didn't want Kazuma to approach Kai. Asuma and the others then thought of various ways to get rid of Kazuma because he was quite reckless and openly wanted to make Kai his lover. 
Knowing the trauma his younger brother has had since childhood, Kazuma then locks Asuma into the school locker. Luckily, Nanoshima and the others soon found out and helped Asuma. Kazuma then challenges Asuma to a game of cards, where he promises never to approach Kai again if Asuma wins over him. At first, Kazuma managed to get ahead of Asuma. However, after Kai and the others cheered Asuma on, he finally managed to defeat Kazuma and came out victorious. After that, Asuma invited Nanoshima, Igaroshi, Shinomiya, and also Nishina to express their love for Kai. Even though they are both women, it turns out that Nishina really likes Kai, especially after Kai praised her work in drawing and continued to encourage her to pursue her dreams in the art of drawing. Therefore, Nishina considers the four young men as her rivals to get Kai's attention and affection. After the five of them expressed their love, Kai seemed confused about who she liked the most. So Kai decided to go on a date with the five of them one by one to find out more about each other's characters. After going on a date with all of them, Kai is even more confused about who to choose because she likes all of them. Kai finally decides not to choose any of them to be her lover and sticks to her stance, where she just wants to be a happy Fujoshi and will still be loyal to Shion, her favorite character from the Mirage Saga, even though Shion is now gone. Hearing this, Asuma and the others look shocked, but could understand Kai's attitude of choosing Shion over them. Although neither of them became Kai's lover, they all remain good friends to Kai and remain friends with each other. The moral that we can learn from this anime is, to always be yourself, even though we are an otaku who looks unique and strange from the views of others. Because by being ourselves, we will meet people who will accept and love us as we are.